show you how to use react context in your react project i'm going to set up a quick react um 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 app and then i will add react context to it so as you probably already know in react the way you you pass data by is by using prop from uh let's assume this is the parent component and then you pass an information from this parent component to this child then to this child and then to this child and to this child that's the general way of how th things work in react now well you can have a callback that'll, that'll generate data all the way back but that's not where, that's not the that's not the best way to do things but react context however allows you to pass data a different way so let's take a look at this let's assume this container here is react context what you have to do is once you wrap your react context around the app in general the definition of the app you can use that data anywhere within the component you don't have to pass it in this uniform way as it is over here so it's i mean if you want to read what it says in google react context i can show you i i was just giving you a more visual explanation context provides a way to pass data through the component tree without having to pass props down manually at every level basically that so instead of passing props down from here to here to here to here you can just once you wrap it around the app you can use it anywhere within the component all right so well uh, in the background i i just i ran this command npx create react app client so i'm just just to uh, have something show really quick so let's let's go to the app itself and let's open it I'm using Visual Studio Code. That's what I'm using. Um, make the screen a little larger for you guys. Visual Studio Code. Okay, this is these. Let's cancel. So these are just general things that come with React when you use when you use create create, create React app. So let's load this up by saying npm run start. no that's not what we want let's see there we go beautiful all right this is good all right so that's what this shows so let's start deleting things here really quick just remove all of this it's gonna break it that's fine remove this okay that's fine we're gonna remove this because we don't need that I'm going to delete the logo and the service worker for now because I, I really just want to go focus on using react context not using react so i don't really need all of these things that we have here index for now let's just remove that service worker re remove that okay awesome so let's go to uh, css let's remove all of this let's remove all of this Let's make the text black, background white. There we go. Awesome. All right. Then let's let's just add let's just add oh let's change the name to app instead of app header. And we'll leave it, and then let's add information here. Main. Let's say header. We can say. This is the header. There we go. This is good. All right. So we just have just a quick app. It just shows a static data. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up context. So the first thing is you have to, uh, let's create a folder called context. You don't have to make a folder for context, but most people do. And then the next thing, once you have this, this context folder is let's create, uh, our first context. Let's call it data context. .js okay so in here we're going to import react obviously remember we're going to use hooks we're not using classes so i'm assuming you know how to use hooks as well Import react from react now the first thing you want to do now is you want to create this context so we're going to create context context um equals so the, we're going to use the react that we just imported 
dot create context. There we go. And then let's leave it like this. And then the next thing we want to do is again, we're using hooks. Just remember that the next thing we want to do is we want to create uh, the, the actual provider. So we can say we can, uh, let's call it data provider const data provider. Uh, props and then return we have something to return and then we're gonna use return the context oops sorry context dot provider that's that's all we need awesome all right now we need the children of the props so as in this video you see, instead of pa instead of passing one prop from the parent component, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna pass all the children that this wraps around. So you're gonna say props dot children. There we go. This is good. Now we wanna um, let's export this by default. We can say export default data provider, and then we're gonna be able to export the 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 context as well all right now we need to put data here data that we can pass along so let's create a constant first we can say const say default data and then the uh, let's say name so we can say so we're going to use my name kunle but let's say age let's get the age and i am 31 and then we are going to use uh, occupation. So I'm just creating a random data for us to use. Uh, there we go. Software engineer. There we go. This is good. All right. So now we want to pass this data down. So what we're going to do is, since we're using context, let's let's bring in our first context variable. Use state. Okay, so in this use state, we are going to have const. We can say, uh, let's call this info. We can say, and then set info. Remember, I'm using, I'm, I'm using hooks here. Equals use state. And then we're going to pass in the default data. There we go. This is good. And now we want to pass into the provider the data we have. So value. And then we can pass info. Awesome. So now we have, we can also pass and set info if we want. So we can change the default data. But let's just, let's not do that. So let's, let's just show you how to wrap, how to get this data into app.js and into another component if, if we need to. So um, the next thing is what we want to do now is this is we want to uh, right now we are not able to use like we, we still have the React app and we're not able to like it's not really we have created the context file but we haven't wrapped it. So we have created the context but we haven't wrapped it around all the components or at least the one component that we have app.js. So to do that, we are going to go to app.js, or you know what? The, the best way to do it, honestly, is go to index.js and wrap it around app in general, and then any other component that you use from app or from index will have access to it. So let's, let's go to index, and let's import. So we're gonna destruct, import from So we're gonna look for the context. Where is it? No. Context, data context. And what are we importing? We're importing the the context here. This one. That's what we're importing. There we go. So again, we're using hooks. So we'll say we'll say um, use context. There we go. And then we can say, we can, um, 
Oh, no, I'm doing this wrong. Sorry, guys. I, I am thinking of something else in my mind. Uh, I am like, I'm thinking of this is this is a regular component. This is not a regular component. What you want to do is you want to import the default that we have. You want to import this, the data provider. So let's say import. Uh, you don't have to call a data provider. I'm just keeping the name consistent. From. I was I, I was completely thinking of something else. So data provider. So now we're gonna wrap that data provider around the app. There we go. I thought I copied that on my clipboard. I guess not. All right. Awesome. Have you broke anything yet? Nope. Still good. All right. So now uh, we have wrapped it around. So now we have this. Now we have this container thing here, and any of our components can use can use this context. We only have one component, which is app.js, but I'll create a second one. You know, we can do that now. So let's create a second component. Let's say, let's call this um, test.js, whatever. No, don't use test. Let's call it uh, dummy.js. And then let's put, put it here, call it dummy. Okay, awesome. This we call it. This is dummy header. Okay, so now we have two different components. We okay, we still didn't break anything. That's good. All right, so now we have two components: app.js and dummy.js. Here, so to show this diagram, let's assume this is app.js. They have nothing to do with each other. And dummy.js. And then we can remove all of this. Remove that. There we go. So we only have two components. So now both of these components can uh, we can pass all this information. We can pass this information to each of these components. Before we, we would have to pass it to the parent and then pass it down to the child, to the children. All right. So let's do that now. So I want to use the the context in the app.js first. So the first thing I do is I say. I'm going to now import what I was trying to do earlier. That's what I thought, guys. I thought I was doing this. Context here, and then use context. There we go. So now it's looking good. What what did we call it? We said, in, uh, we call it info, right? Okay, awesome. So we said info. We said info um, use context and pass in the context that we want to use. Beautiful. Now we can we have three different parameters: name, age, occupation. We can destruct all three of them. Those of you who knows the ESX name age. Occupation. Okay, awesome. So now let's use them. So we can put here paragraph, say name, and then just copy and then age, and then work. Let's see, does it work? There we go. There we go. You see, it works. Name, age, and occupation. So what did we do here? So I was able to create a context, and I was able to pass that context down to app.js without using no prop here. None, basically. Without using no prop in app.js, there's no way where you see I'm creating a prop called name, set it to age, whatever, and then you pass it. No, we're not doing any of that. So context is a way of us passing data back through our components. So now, remember I said we can pass it through to other components as well. So I'm going to use it in dummy.js as well. So the same thing, just so I don't repeat, I'm just going to, like, um, I'm just going to do this. Use context. There we go. And then I'm going to. I don't want to. I don't want to type again. There we go. 
awesome and then here let's just put the name paragraph name name and then if we want to see dummy.js we can just pass we can uh, pass dummy.js here so we can say um, you know what let us return dummy.js as opposed to app so uh, what we can do is this uh, since this is not a course on react what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import import um, dummy from right here awesome and then we can just pass dummy instead there we go name this is a dummy header awesome guys so it works if you want you can put the app here and then you can you can um, pass dummy inside of app instead I mean it's up to you guys it doesn't really matter how you want to do it it's still the same thing and you can import um, dummy from there we go and then you can return let's just let's remove all of this just return dummy there we go and then we can remove it from index awesome still works so there we go guys so what, what I basically went through, I know that was quick, but the, the goal is I showed you how to create context. You can, it's a very simple context. You can make this way more complicated. Uh, I showed you how to set up your own context and how to um, pass it through each component. Thank you for watching.